Are you doing the bridge hammock again, or is this something different? This is the uh, same bridge hammock I used last time. It's the, uh, the Bear Mountain bridge hammock. And flying the colors. Standard. So up here at Morning Wood tonight, we're going to have a little, uh, what are you making there, buddy? Meat queso. Meat queso. Ooh, yummy. That would be the meat. This would be the meat, the Keystone cooked ground beef from a can. That stuff is great, by the way. If you guys haven't tried it, that's a great thing to keep in the pantry on account of it's delicious. So we're gonna be having quite a bit of a taste test fiesta tonight. We're gonna to have uh, some of the uh, simple sensations. Here's his uh, queso blanco. We're gonna be having the Mountain House spicy Southwest skillet, some of this cam bread. And this is the uh, Cuca Maria, which is a sea cucumber and kelp. We're gonna be trying out some of this Irish pub cheddar potato soup that was sent to me by Valley Food Storage. Uh, I've seen another review of this. They, they really liked it a lot, so I'm hoping that we're going to like it as well. I'm trying out some of this uh, Cuco Maria, which is basically sea cucumber and kelp. That's what it looks like right there. This was sent to me by Vasily from the Outdoor Tactical Channel and also forwarded to me from uh, Nathan from Nathan Zamari. So thank you very much to both you gentlemen. Kind of like a sweet brown bed baked in the mm -hmm. So we're opening up both sides because you kind of have to push one side through the other side to get it out of the can. Otherwise, you're just going to pretty much mess her up. Looks came good. Out, came out pretty easy. How's it smell? It smells like a kind of a like a yeasty bread or? It's kind of a, I've always considered it kind of a dark molasses brown yeah, bread. Yeah, okay, I get that. Go ahead and try that. And try out this bread. Looks pretty basic. No, nothing really like giantly exciting here. I wonder how long that's been in a can. Um, it's got a long shelf life. Mm-hmm. Almost kind of has like a pumpkin bread texture to it. It's pretty good. So Dave already added his tomatoes in there. Now we're getting the queso going in. He kind of wimped out and he's not doing it over the fire because apparently it's hot. So <laughs> we're looking at this and we realize that we we got probably enough queso for about 22 to 35 people, depending on uh, height, weight. Yes. Appetite. That's a lot. And we got like nine other things to eat. Well, here we go for only the second time on YouTube. And I say second time because I saw one other YouTube with a couple of Russian youngsters trying this out. They didn't have much better luck than me getting this lid open. Here we go. That's what she looks like. Ain't that looking grand? Oh yeah, she's cooking. I just stirred this up and believe it or not, it's not sticking at all. Dave has got that pan seasoned perfectly, it looks like. Go ahead. Green onions. A little cilantro. Cilantro. A little chipotle paste for garnish about the outside edges. That's way too pretty for us. We're gonna have to call some women up here. Yep. If you haven't tried these, these are delicious. Tostitos, Hinta Jalapeno from Frito Lay Corporation. Go get you some. It's almost like a cross between bean dip yeah, it's got the texture and bean uh, queso. It should be fabulous. Well, I bet it's hotter than shit. It's probably, yeah. Yeah, I can see the steam coming out of it. <laughs> I don't want to put it on my one, tongue. One, two, three, firm bark. Oh, no, it's crazy. Don't do it. Here we go. Here's a little. It's a cheese definitely retaining the heat. Mm hmm. No kidding, this stuff is like ridiculously hot. I mean like temperature hot. Might also be spicy. Alright, here we go. That's delicious. Here we are, we're gonna try out the uh, sea cucumber with kale. Y'all remember uh, Anonymous Dave? Howdy. What's up, Rochacho? <laughs> 
Kale and sea and sea cucumber. Cucumber. It's gonna be interesting. You want, you want first try? First mm -hmm. dip. Sure. I'm not even sure if this is supposed to be served cold or. It smells good. It, smells like it does smell good. It smells like pickled. Pretty soft. It's kind of like a relish. Yeah, like a seaweed salad, kind mm -hmm. of sweet. Let me get in the Asian store. Sticking to my teeth a little bit. I'm not sure which is. It, it does, definitely has a real Asian taste to it. I guess that's part of the meat right there, that crazy stuff. Bring it right into the camera so you guys can see all the sea cucumber goodness. I don't know. It's, it has a very soft texture. Yeah, it does. If you ever had like sea seaweed or kelp salad, it tastes just like that. Mm -hmm. It's kind of sweet, mildly sweet. The sea cucumber has almost no texture; it yeah. just falls right apart. It needs like it almost could use like a little hot sauce or something. Well, we got some, but we got some. We have to put with. We just get done burning our mouth, then. <laughs> in case I'll bring you in here with another big old scoop of this. It's pretty good, though. I wouldn't say it's great. There you are. Pretty tasty. Cucumber. Cucumaria. Well, the nice folks at Valley Foods sent me this uh, soup to try out. We're going to go ahead and give her a go. I can feel the soup is up at the top, so I'm trying to shake it down. Dang it. This thing's in there really tight. Might be a little bit of spillage as we uh, roll through the tear. Uh, there we go. It's yep, all over my hand. That's what she looks like on the inside. We got a little uh, do not eat in here. So this guy is basically a cheese soup. And you're supposed to put one third of a cup into one cup of water. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop her out. Dave and, eat, and I are each gonna have a cup, so I got a two-third cup measuring tool, and we're gonna get her heated up. Now, one thing I'm gonna have to say, I'm impressed with, with the ingredient list. There's no weirdness in here. It's just all regular stuff. Hey, the dishwasher nozzle works really well. <laughs> So t the last thing on our menu tonight is this Simply Sensation Spicy Southwest Style Skillet, which I'm reading because I'm sure that you don't have the ability to read. <laughs> this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside while Dave does something important. Looks like a lot of seasoning, really. Here's your nutritional data and ingredient list. Really not too much weirdness going on here. Well, it only calls for three quarters of a cup of water. Go ahead and mix her in there a little bit. Let her sit for a few minutes and we shall see. Well, I'm gonna try, I'm try to show you what the soup looks like without pouring it all out of the bowl. It's mainly yellow soup. There's, some, there's a lot of corn in here. There were a couple of potato bits that I saw when I was mixing it together. I don't see them anymore. Here we are. Give her a go. It's really good. It has a kind of a creamy smoothness to it that's very delightful. It really needs a, 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 a pretty good shot of pepper to it. Maybe some kind of meat, but bacon. You could, bacon yeah, bacon would be awesome in here. Salty yeah. Mm-hmm. No, but this is really good soup, right? You could, yeah. It, it'd be it'd be very easy to add a few ingredients to bring this up to something you might yeah. you know really like. It's a it's kind of a neutral soup, so people can just doctor it up uh, any way they want. You mm -hmm. know, get a little bit of cooked bacon, garlic oh, get, pepper. I'm, get, I'm getting the potato now. 
a soup is fantastic both Dave and I agree that that soup is a great starting off point if you want to add things to it and improve it it wasn't overly salty the taste was fantastic you could put chicken in it you could put bacon in it pretty much anything ham, ham it'd be awesome we thought if you had some evaporated milk or even some milk powder you could put it in there and thicken it up I mean just a lot of things you could do with that and even just plain yeah really good Very so good out of bag straight out of bag Huge thumbs up. It actually tasted like way better than I was hoping it was going to taste. Here we are on to our final dish of the evening, I think. I think dessert isn't going to be anything to watch on here. This is like a really surprisingly small amount of food. I don't know how they're going to make it with this. I mean, that's all of it right there. All right, here we are. We got your noodles, some corn, looks like some beans in here. Pretty, uh, not interesting. Here we go. Some Mountain House goodness in their commercial line. Flavor's pretty good on the first bite. Oh, it's got some heat on the back end, don't it? It's good. It's definitely got the southwestern spice. Yeah, it's, it's pretty zippy. When They're not kidding when it says it's spicy. Sauce is a- pepper sauce is one of the Ooh. Yeah, it's it's really zingy. I mean, I'm, I'm, I've already announced that I'm a spice wimp. And uh, yeah, I had to stop and take a drink because it's pretty zippy. I, I gotta say, the, what's the total calories? 250? 250. 250 calories. That's not very much. For five bucks? That's a terrible value. For five bucks? Yes, yeah, five bucks. So I'm laughing and I'll show you why in a minute. But basically, here's a couple things. One, when they say that it's spicy, this is 100% correct. It's really zippy. Number two, it's a way tiny portion. And number three, what this would be best served as is if you put it on eggs. Like you had a big scrambled eggs and you serve this and you just spread it over the top and it would spiff it up. That's the way to go. Tis a sad day indeed. My chair let me down. Just about drop ass right down to the ground. Fortunately, no beer was lost in the uh, event. But unfortunately, I shall not be sitting up on here anymore.